I'm John Hamilton, Mayor of Bloomington. And I'm Don Griffin, Deputy Mayor for the City of Bloomington. Hello again, folks. We're going to talk about the 2023 budget. Now, this is transformative, right? It's a big topic. Yeah, $229 million. So this 23 budget, I have to tell you, we propose it to City Council. It's transformative, as mm -hmm. you said. It's kind of like we're stepping into a new era. Uh, and so it's 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 hard to get through it all in the video, but let me just let me just mention th it's a new level of investment, mm -hmm. and it really is kind of motivated by three things. Um, first, it's motivated by we've got to be an employer of choice. It's hard to be an employer these days. Everybody knows that people are retiring. It's hard to hire people. We want to make this a career. We got great employees. We want to be sure to take care of them. It's been hard time to be a city employee. Um, so we're, we're trying to make sure we do all that we can to take care of our employees so they can take care of us. So retention and recruitment is yep. what we're talking about. All the way through city government. Second thing is, you know, we know our community wants to be a sustainable community. We need to meet the climate emergency. It's, it's at us, it's hitting us already. We gotta do what we can to mitigate it. We gotta do what we can to adapt to it. So this budget has major investments in making us a sustainable city, a place where people can thrive in a low carbon way. And the third thing that motivates us is really, I guess in some ways the most basic, which is make sure we have a really high quality of life where everyone can thrive. We want you, if you come to Bloomington, we want you to feel welcome. Wherever you come from, whatever you believe, we want you to feel welcome. We want you to be able to thrive with good housing, with good jobs, and with a safe city that welcomes everybody. So those kind of motivated this big transformative budget. Okay, so you gave us some of the big <laughs> scale of, hey, we're gonna make Bloomington better. Can you give us some examples of how it's going to change the the average citizen uh, in Bloomington. What are the things that we're gonna? Yeah, you know, and I should note, it's really, we're able to be transformative mm -hmm. for two main reasons. One, because the federal administration continues to invest lots of money, so important for us, coming from the, from the Congress and President Biden. Second, because we have new revenue with an economic development local income tax, and those resources are letting us do a few really key things. One, we're just leaning into the basic services that our city needs and that we want to provide, including public safety and everything else we do. And in that public safety, we've, we've given new uh, salaries to our police to be competitive, new equipment, new facilities. We're providing housing assistance to let our first responders live in the city when it's so difficult for them to do that. And then all the basic services that the city does, we're able to invest in it in new ways, whether it's sanitation, uh, and, make, and doing a great job picking up your recycling or your trash, or whether it's making new curb ramps so everybody can get around in our city or, or smoothing our sidewalks, better sidewalks, better trails, you know, the great parks. I mean, we can go on and on uh, in the way that we help people, a great transit system, all those things. This is a new level of service that will help us provide great services to the people of Bloomington. So you start with that, and then there's two ways we kind of build on that. Again, sustainability. This budget is investing over $5 million a year in making us more sustainable. Much of it going to the transit system. We are transforming our Bloomington transit system. Uh, th their budget is going from 15 million a year to 35 million a year. Now, wow. most of that is new federal money. Uh, mm -hmm. Four million of it's local money, but most of it's new federal money. And they just got $7 million last week in a competitive grant to buy eight electric buses. So, it's really helping transform that. And we now have a climate action plan, the first one in city history, and we're investing 1.6 million a year to advance that plan, uh, step by step, year by year, with and, the council. And we're gonna lead, right? We're gonna, this is, this is not just going to be Bloomington wide. We're gonna try to be the hub uh, and, and a leader in sustainability. Bloomington is, is an advanced guard in this, but I think the whole region and we hope the whole state can move along with us. So that's really important. And then uh, there's a whole other new revenue that's going to support housing, jobs, uh, economic equity, like a million dollars a year, local money for housing support, affordable housing. We've never had anything like mm -hmm. that. Uh, the, new, the new local income tax lets us do that. Uh, also, in investing to make sure everyone can get into this new economy. 
whether you, whether you have advantages or disadvantages, mm -hmm. that we open up the new economy and, and jobs, good paying jobs for folks. And then an economic equity fund to a make sure- A million dollars, right? A million dollars a year to make okay. sure if people are struggling, uh, households that are facing the, these taxes or others, that, that we have ways to help them. So look, I'm, I'm really excited about this. It's way too much to get into in a, in a short video. Uh, the budgets are the most important policy document we do. Uh, this is a new era for Bloomington. Uh, leaning into being a great, innovative, efficient government and also leaning into these challenges of climate change, inclusion, making sure we, we move into the future the way we want to. Fantastic. So on Monday, we're going to be presenting the budget and uh, we're going to have several videos. Uh, there's a whole video series uh, if you want to see more of us. I don't know about that. Maybe more of know. you. I don't know. But uh, uh, feel free to check out some of the links that we have, and we'll see you soon.